If you're new here, my name is Reyna. I'm a professional musician. I live in Philadelphia. I also really enjoy making YouTube videos and taking you through what it's like to be a professional musician. If you couldn't tell by the title of this video, I wanted to take you through what I'm packing for three weeks on tour in the UK and Europe with Happy Fits. And I'm excited to show you my methodical process of packing. I've thought about packing kind of nonstop for the last like two weeks. I've never traveled to the UK or Europe. I am so excited. There are a lot Lot of variables in play. First of all, we're touring in a double-decker tour bus with the other band that we're playing with. I wanted to make sure that I was as prepared as possible to put my own mental health as a priority because on previous tours, I tend to sort of let that fall to the wayside. I've got my bag packed already. I'm trying to reduce the amount of like large items I'm bringing because I'm already bringing a large guitar case, a large hard shell acoustic case, this suitcase, and a backpack. Let's get started with what I have in my suitcase. I'm really excited about making a video like this because I love watching what's in my bag videos. Let's start with what's in the clothing side of my suitcase. I've got a sweater. I'm bringing three sweaters with me. This one is from Uniqlo. It's so cute. I love wearing this. It's the perfect springtime sweater. This is something that's super versatile. Like I can wear it with everything I'm gonna be bringing along with me. And this is sweater number two. This is a sweater that I've had for years from Madewell. They probably don't sell it anymore, but it's sort of like a mock roll neck and has nice long sleeves. This is the sweater that I think I'll probably be wearing on the plane. It's super cozy and I like that it has a collar detail. It makes it feel a little bit more elevated. I got this at Marshall's a few weeks ago. So I'll probably wear that on the plane and shove this Everlane jacket into my backpack. Something like this is compact. This is might be the only coat I'm bringing because I can layer it. Well, technically I'm also bringing a rain slicker or a rain jacket. So I thought about bringing a hair dryer because we're gonna be in venues and showering probably immediately after we play, there's not much time for blow drying your hair. So I'm probably just gonna have to let it air dry. This is a ion straightener. My boyfriend handed me this to bring because outlets are different obviously in the UK. We've got compression packing cubes here, which are an absolute game changer for me. This one is denim and pants because I could not close it, but it's still quite small. So these packing cubes are from CalPack. So I'm bringing two pairs of jeans with me, a light pair and a little bit of a darker pair. These are both Levi's and I have gotten them recently. These are the 90s cuts and they have a button fly and I, I love these jeans. I think these are my most favorite pair of jeans I've ever owned. And then a pair of brown wide leg pants and then some black trousers from Uniqlo. One side, black trousers, brown pants, and then the two pairs of denim will live on this side of the cube. The next bag we've got here is workout clothes. So these two, this is just a normal blue t-shirt and a ghost light t-shirt, my old band, that is just super comfortable to exercise or sleep in. And two pairs of leggings. These leggings are the Arism leggings. These are high-waisted from Uniqlo. Super stretchy, not tight around the stomach. And the moment that I put these on, I was like, I want to own like eight pairs of these. So these are a type of material that dry quickly. They're cool to the touch and they are UV protection. I'm probably actually gonna wear these leggings on the plane. I've got two sports bras. These are sweatpants cropped at the ankle. These are really comfortable. My next compressed cow pack bag. This one I was actually able to like compress all the way so it did get quite a bit smaller. This is t-shirts and shirts. So this is how I like to pack my clothes. They are upright and somewhat rolled. It's mostly t-shirts and two tank tops and a turtleneck. So I got these nice, nicer tank tops 
for stage. This one's like stylish and cute. I'm gonna be pretty comfortable on this. This is the back. I got this at Marshall's. This is a House of Harlow tank top. This one is a different cut, but a nice thick material. So I know I'll be warm. It'll probably be a bit sweaty in the venues, which is why tank tops are great. It's a classic tank top. You can't really go wrong. Marshall's is my favorite store on the planet, I think. There's no better store. <laughs> I'm bringing one black turtleneck. You cannot go wrong with a classic turtleneck, I think, for any kind of event. And then I've got three white t-shirts and three black t-shirts. And this is a black tank from Uniqlo with a built-in bra in it. So it's gonna be comfortable to wear. It's that airism material that I am apparently obsessed with. All of the black and white t-shirts that I'm gonna bring with me are Uniqlo. The more fitted element makes the outfit feel a little bit more elevated, I think more put together. This is more of a boxy tee, so this is gonna be comfortable, but I could also wear this on stage. But it has like a nice collar to it. Another variation on that black crop top tee. And then again, the same material, the airism material, in the white version of the crop. And that's all the t-shirts, so I'm bringing, to break things up a little bit from clothes, these are laundry sheets. Instead of using liquid detergent, I started using these on my last tour in the fall. I love them. Earth Breeze. I'm gonna link all of these things in, in the description. So those are just gonna live underneath all of my clothing bags. Now this small one, this fits all of my underwear, my bras, and socks. This just gets so much bigger. Look at how organized this is. We've got socks on one side, 10 pairs of socks, 10 including the pair that I'll be wearing, 10 pairs of underwear as well, seven bralettes, and that's that. The other two things that I have on this side of the suitcase are an air tag in the side pocket. We have a small laundry bag. This has been through hell. So this is my hair care bag, dry shampoo. This is by Hair Story and this stuff works great. Actually, you probably could use some now. It comes out in like these little puffs. <laughs> You're gonna need some dry shampoo. Shit's gonna get grimy. My next thing I have here is some somewhat broken Bumble and Bumble curling mousse. I have wavy hair, so if I wash it, I just put some mousse in. It makes my hair look like that tousled, undone, sexy rock and roll vibe. I just love it. And then this is Hydration Glossy Shine and Heat Protectant Spray by Verb. And then just some spare hair ties in case I lose some other things. So really minimal on the hair care department for me. That's side one, done. I'm gonna move on to what I've got in the middle pouch, which is like kind of extras of things, vitamins. I've got a black belt, a thin black belt with this, a gold buckle. I can wear this with anything. I think it'll elevate a look really nicely if I need to. I've got an extra pack of Lysol disinfecting wipes. I might throw, I have one more I might throw in here in case my luggage strap breaks. I've never used a luggage strap, but for international travel, I thought it would be a smart idea to have one, wrap it around my bag, just to be sure in case something happens, it explodes, the zipper rips, I have a backup plan. And then I just have a black bikini, simple black bikini. But I always keep a bathing suit in my bag in case there's like a hot tub at the hotel. In the second pouch, I've got a boatload of vitamins, magnesium, calcium in St. John's wort, Tums, just in case I have an upset stomach, this is B12. I've been big on the vitamin game for a while now. Primrose, night oil, biotin. I know it seems absurd. It's a lot of vitamins. My care of vitamins as well. This is not sponsored, but I wish it was. <laughs> I love care of actually. I've been using their vitamin packets for at least like two years now. Got like a vitamin D, an iron. In this bag is extra beauty stuff, an extra hand lotion. I love these hand lotions from Trader Joe's. One to the, the Loctane thick hand creams. I feel like they work really well. And then I've got uh, body wipes. 
by Cora might be a good idea because you can use them on your face, on everywhere else. An extra small toothpaste, some face masks that I am probably gonna use if my skin is feeling extra dry. I can use these on off days and I find them to be really hydrating, the Snail Muse and Cosrx ones. And then this is an extra, this is the Dr. Bronner's Eucalyptus Soap. And now we've entered the second half of my bag. These are my shower shoes and bus slippers. This is a spare towel. This is in case of emergencies. I'm bringing four pairs of shoes with me and they all are, uh, or most of them are in separate bags. These are my heeled blundstone boots. Great stage shoes and they are gonna be great rain boots as well because they are leather and durable and pretty waterproof, I'd say. So I love these heeled blundstone boots. Converse All Stars. Classic white, great casual sneaker. The third pair of shoes I'm bringing, which are loafers, black leather loafers. These are new to me. These are by Life Stride. Up next, got makeup. So this is the makeup that I'm bringing. I know it seems like a lot, but I like the size of this makeup bag because you can see everything. And then I can put this palette just sandwich this in between and I know it's not gonna get damaged. The two cozy winter things I'm gonna be bringing are neutral in color. This is a tan scarf with skulls on it. Not exactly my normal style, but I do find it quite stylish. I feel like this looks so cute. We're all down to our last two things basically in this side of the bag. This is a compact raincoat that I just got on Amazon. This is a Columbia Arctic 2 coat, I think. I decided to go with a raincoat instead of an umbrella because I saw that the weather was gonna be quite windy and most people go with raincoats instead. Not a super cute look, but I think it's gonna be a nice extra layer in case I get cold. The last thing in my bag is this North Face duffel bag, which is the Base Camp Voyager in 42 liters and I really crammed this bag back into its packable pouch. This thing was great on tour. This is like your bus bag. This is kind of what takes up the most room. This is about the size of a packing cube but I can fit a lot of extra stuff in here if we come back with gifts from fans. And that's gonna do it for that side of my bag. Let's move on to my backpack, my carry-on for the plane. Hi, buddy. Say hello. Hello. What's in my bag? What's in my bag? So now that we've done luggage, moving on to backpack world, this is gonna be my carry-on for the plane. This is the 26 liter Calpac duffel backpack. It can be transformed into a duffel bag, which is really cool when you slide it onto the top of your luggage. Let's start with the outside, which is gonna be the water bottle pouch matching. I really was methodical in what colors I was purchasing because I wanted to look nice. I wanted to look nice for a while and I want to feel not hideous while I'm traveling and sweating through the airport. So this is what I landed on. This is the Awala 32 ounce bottle. Next we'll move on to the front pocket. Now I don't have all of my electronics in here just yet. I've got Lysol to go wipes. These are gonna clean my airplane seat and possibly like light switches in my bunk or something. Um, inside on my key loop, I've got an air tag and then an identity tag. In the first pocket, I've got three Sharpies and two pens. Together with that, I'm keeping my in-ear monitors, which I'll probably use on the plane as well. These are the Shure 215s. You can get them on their website. In the second pouch below that, got spare memory card, a spare cube, a quarter inch to eighth inch headphone jack, an old school pair of AirPods, a headphone splitter, just in case you wanna watch something with a friend. Then in the next pouch, I've got a little sewing kit, emergency sewing kit. And then also I have feminine products because you never know when it's gonna come out of the blue. So earplugs. These I'll probably be using to sleep on the bus. 
and the one above that here, bag, a, a spare bag, compact, small bag, glasses, cleaner. I'll probably keep my passport in my purse. This is all the tech stuff that's gonna be going in my backpack. Gotta have the laptop. So I'm probably gonna edit this video on the plane or try to get it done. So laptop and a laptop sleeve. Came with a matching little cable bag, which is a little too small to put everything in, including a couple hard drives, power cable itself, and I'll need an SD card reader as well, which is just upstairs in my office. This laptop fits really well in the laptop sleeve. I'm gonna slip this right in here. Nice and snug and super protected. I got a new moleskin journal. I love writing in a journal and getting my thoughts out on paper. And that's gonna go in the pouch that's just right in front of the laptop along with my iPad. And that's gonna slide right in front of the laptop. Hi Bobo, my little man. This is an external power bank. This is by Rav Power. It does power things for quite a long time. Oh my gosh, it's a cat party. Hi, Charles. Let's make it live with where the selfie light's gonna be. So this is gonna live in the front pouch here also. I will be using the stand that I'm currently using for my camera. And that will fit right here. It's about as long as the bag, but it is really light. This is my jewelry. I got a little travel case from Maison Maru. They sent me some jewelry to wear on tour, which I've been really enjoying. This necklace and these earrings. I can tag that below. I think I'm also gonna make that live in this pouch. And then the toiletry bag is on the very bottom like this make this nice and snug travel pillow this is going to be my travel pillow this is a turtle plus pillow um, a little bit of an investment piece because it comes in at like a hundred dollars so it's kind of a lot for a neck pillow it's adjustable and padded so it's gonna be a bit more comfortable than your average squishy neck pillow also it's compact so what you do is you place it I think you can place it like this yeah, like this. So I'll probably keep mine on the smallest setting because I'm a tiny little person. And it's gonna keep your neck upright like this. Do a bit of a wraparound situation like this and make it nice and comfortable and tight. And then in theory, I know I look insane. I don't care though. We're not trying to be pretty here. We're trying to get some shut eye. This is my favorite eye mask. I used this on the last tour. It worked so well. I slept like a baby because it wraps all the way around your head in this thick silk material. I'll probably put this in my pillow bag. This. So my digital camera, this is the Fujifilm X-T30. Took a lot of photos on the last tour with this camera and it had such a cool vibe. It gives you like this nice film effect. I love this camera. They just came out with a new model. So that is gonna live probably right here. Headphones here, fair change of clothes, just somewhere on the bottom like this. And then these things will live in my Uniqlo shoulder bag, AirPods, sunglasses. We've got two masks for the plane. So I'll put my passport in my bag, lip gloss. I love this lip gloss from e.l.f. It's so hydrating. This is the Glow Revival Lip Oil, Red Delicious. Such a good shade. Doterra On Guard Beadlets. These are for preventing sickness. They're like essential oils, basically. Some Yay for Earth chapstick. I love this chapstick. Uh, compostable packaging is the Woods one. Travel Advils, Ibuprofens. Another e.l.f. lip product. This is the Fiery Red Lip Stain. Two bags of chamomile tea. And then two Cora body wipes. Purse Air Tag. The Glossier U Solid Perfume. I love the way this smells. This is a perfect travel thing, except for the fact that it's like solid metal, so it's pretty heavy, but I love how it opens like this. It smells so nice. My wallet, of course. Hand cream. That. <laughs> We'll do it for a what's in my bag. Well guys, I think that's gonna do it for my what's in my bag for traveling to Europe and the UK. I am also bringing guitar equipment, so you're not seeing all of the other gear that I'm bringing yet, but I'll have an acoustic guitar in a hard shell case. I'll have a Paul SKB case for my electric guitar that's also gonna have my pedals in it. That's everything. It's a, it's a lot of stuff.
Thank you so much for, for joining me, and if you like this video, please give it a like, give it a comment. I hope you found it somewhat helpful for your upcoming travel needs, and I have a lot of things in store this year for myself. So we'll do a little update probably from the road, from the UK. Thanks for being here. I know it was a long one. I will see you in the next one. Take care.